Bird told me there are people in Oakmont who can help me leave town. Maybe, maybe not. What makes you think I know anything? I've heard they're having a wake for Toothless Bob here. That may be true, but I don't know you from Adam. Prove you ain't some gumshoe. Come on, you can trust me. Ask Mr. Throgmorton. He can vouch for me. <laughs> if you think I'll trust you just because you were doing business with that ape, then you've got another thing coming. But you're still alive. That means you've got something going for you. Okay. What about a little favor? Nothing fancy, don't worry. I expected a package to be delivered ages ago, but the courier still hasn't shown. Find out what's taken him so long. Here's the address. Got it. One more thing. If you don't find him, bring the package back, will ya? It's a crate full of the water of life if you catch my drift. Bye. Dusk of time. Pen. Here's the prophecy inscribed in the twilight.
take it off. What's your problem? So long. And thanks for all the fears.
by something heavy with wheels. The blood's almost dry. Empty, but reeks of gasoline. I've seen ashes like this before. Well, that's one way to get rid of a corpse. like this before. Well, that's one way to get rid of a corpse. Done, kid. Someone talks to the cops behind. Drock. Whose idea was it to hide the crap? No mercy, boys. Get rid of him. Leave nothing but ashes. Understood? Time to figure this out. Drock. Whose idea was it to hide the crates in such a stupid way? You're done, kid. Someone talks to the cops behind my back. Their history. No mercy, boys. He's... Get rid of him. Leave nothing but ashes. Understood? Drock. Whose idea was it to hide the crates in such a stupid way? Drock. Whose idea was it to hide the crates in such a stupid way? You're done, kid. No mercy, boys. Get rid of him. Leave nothing but ashes. Understood? No mercy, boys. He's been asking for this. Get rid of him. Leave nothing but ashes. Understood? Someone was looking for a crate here and was brutally killed. The crew that did it were headed up by a guy in a wheelchair.
Well, I found your courier. I hate to break it to you, but he's dead. Someone didn't like him talking to the cops, and, well, they made it pretty savage. Ah, oh, Kayon did. He might think I was in on it. He? Who's he? The boss. Is there anything I can do to help? Nay, hey, I'll handle it. But take my advice. The boss is the only man who can arrange a bon voyage. Don't do anything to make him unhappy. There, our newcomer. Here's the note with your instructions. Beyond that, you're on your own. Okay, thanks. Here's your water of life. Shh, keep it down, pal. Not too shabby, newcomer. You deserve a reward for this. Bye.
Hey, fella. What do you do when you see a dog? Pet it or kick it away? I'd kill it, because the dog's rabid. Right you are. You're a new one, huh? Come with us. Just take me to your boss. I'd have broken all your bones. Who are you? And what the truck do you want? Let's be quick about it, kid. I don't have the whole damn day. I'm Charles Reed, Private Eye. Heard you can help with, uh, certain things. Hm. So you want a favor from me, Mr. Reed? And what would that be? I want to smuggle a man out of the city. A lot of people want to leave Oakmont, kid. Few ever succeed. It won't be easy. And, like everything in life that's worthwhile, <laughs> it won't be cheap. So, what's it gonna cost me? Normally, I wouldn't do drock for a newcomer. But you're doing business with that old ape lover, Throgmorton. I think that's interesting. That tells me you're worth something, kid. Now, I have a job needs doing, but it needs to stay between the two of us. <sighs> Guess I have no choice. So, what do I need to do? First things first. My name's Brutus Carpenter, rightful head of the Carpenter family. Second thing, someone tried to kill me a week ago. Oh, you're not asking me to track them down and kill them, are you? No, kid. I've got hatchet men if I need them. And I don't want to kill them anyway. I just want to know who was gunning for me and why. Yeah, I know how it sounds. But after I almost died, I realized that being a hard case isn't the only option. I want to try to do things differently. All right, color me interested. How did this all happen? I woke up in the crematorium inside a rolled up carpet. I had this tag on my toe like some cadaver. And I was covered in this weird rancid slime. I managed to get myself out of there. But what I saw once I got home made me think I had a screw loose. And what did you see? Me, kid. Some palooka wearing my face, and walking out my front door like all was well with the world. So I decided to get out and hole up here. Gathered a small company and pulled myself together. What was your last memory before the crematorium? I can remember clearly a dinner I had a week before the incident. After that, yeah, only bits and pieces. I remember writing something in my diary. I don't recall what, except it was important. Those notes could tell us how it all started. And I suppose that diary's still in your manor. Exactly, kid. In a strong box in my room. You have my permission to crack it if it's necessary. I'll write you the address. Any thoughts on who'd want to do this to you? It must be someone close to me, so I can't trust anyone. I haven't even contacted my son Graham. Normally I'd get him to solve this. I'm vulnerable now. I can't risk exposing myself. Another good reason to bring in an independent contractor. 
So where would I find the city's crematorium? Ah, of course you don't know. You're a newcomer after all. Here's the address. I got it. It appears you're quite capable of standing without aid. So why the wheelchair? Does your curiosity always beat out your courtesy? I'll tell you if it makes you happy. I'm old. Some days I feel tired. This wheelchair, unlike many people, has never crossed me. So I know I can count on it if I need to. Goodbye. Just calm down. No need for violence. Just calm down. No need for violence. Yeah, top marks for quality, blackmail, but a little so much for quality. What gives? Even my gear's in better shape. Just like the old day. The blood dried not too long ago. Dump this garbage. Papa Brute will be here any minute. You like it here, newcomer?
door won't budge. Whoever held this poker has got to be covered in slime. And judging by the dried blood and the dent on this shovel, it was used as a weapon. Wash the stain out, but it's still slimy. Ugh, it stinks. Ugh, reeks to high heaven. What is this stuff? What by the angles is going on? Where, where am I? I need to get out of here before he comes round. Ah, another one for you. Burn him first chance you get. It's urgent. Let's get a handle on what actually happened here. Ah, another one for you. Burn him first chance you get. It's urgent. Uh, I need to get out of here before he comes round. Ah! What by the angles is going on? Where... Where am I? Ah. Uh, I need to get out of here before he comes round. Brutus was brought in by some group who had a deal with the crematorium worker. So, Brutus woke up, knocked the guy out cold, and escaped.
Be safe. We don't have any free beds left. <laughs> James Warren, right? Yeah, that's me. What do you want? I'm sick, can't you see? We could go a group of people brought an unconscious man to the crematorium. I need to know who those people were. What makes you think I'd know that? <sighs> you got hurt that day. That's why you're in the hospital. The man you were supposed to burn knocked you out and escaped. Horse feathers. I hit my head, fell down the stairs. You were supposed to cremate a man listed as Jack White. He escaped, and now he wants to know what's going on. So tell me, who paid you to burn a man alive? How do you know about White? I talked to him. I need names, Warren. I can't. <laughs> I say anything. I'm toast. They'll certainly kill you if they find out Jack White is still alive. I can arrange that. No, please. No, I, I didn't ask their names. They're priests, but they ain't from St. Michael's Church, that's for sure. They were talking about the Lord of the Woods or something. Maybe from an old Oakmont church? That's all I know, I swear. Where can I find this church? I don't know. Some things in this Borg are best left alone. It's not much, but thanks. Wasn't that hard after all, was it? You got what you came for. Now leave me be. Bye.
Hey, hey you! No loitering. Only workers are permitted on the premises. I'm looking for work. I heard you might have a job. Sure. There's a sack of potatoes in the basement of the manor. Go get it. Bring it here, okay? Got it. Get a move on then. Bye. Not so fast, newcomer. You ain't going upstairs unless the boss calls for you. And I don't see that happening.
Ah, please, friend. Don't take away my food. Your food? This is stolen. This sack was meant to go to the hungry. We are the hungry, mister. M me and my family. I have five children to feed and nothing to feed them with. Oh, look, we'll starve to death without it. Have a heart. I don't get it. You can have food for free. The carpenters are distributing it. So why steal? They'd only give me one portion. Even though I told them that my wife and kids are too weak to get here. Don't worry. I... I get it. Look, uh... Hang on to the sack for now. I'll try to work something out for you. Okay? Oh... Oh, thank you, mister. K bless you. You're a lifesaver. Just don't go anywhere. I'll be back soon. There's a... Uh, a minor issue. What? what? What issue? Well, the sack was stolen by one of your workers. I tracked him down so he's not going anywhere, but... I'm trying to decide what to do with him. Damn thieves, may I take them? I'm sure your boss would want to know about it, but I can see you're pretty busy. Tell you what, I'll go talk to him for you. Uh, you're right. I'm needed here. Vera, go see Mr. Graham Carpenter and report the incident. He's upstairs. Yeah, you don't get these for staying in your foxhole. Mr. Carpenter? Yes, Graham Carpenter. How can I help? One of your workers is a thief. Stole a sack of potatoes. Oh. I do hope my people haven't taken it into their own hands. Not yet. Is... Is there a way to solve this peacefully? The guy has a hungry family. That's why he stole. I won't punish a man for trying to feed his family. Why didn't he simply ask me for more food? Tell him he can keep what he stole. If he needs more, let him come back. It may be that he'll need medicine, too. Can you give him this? It's not much, but it'll help. No offense, but why such generosity all of a sudden? I mean, this distribution of supplies. I hope to set an example for the other influential families of Oakmont. Together, we can make our city a better place. Besides, after the incident with the poisoned fish, people were left with nothing to eat. I had to take action to prevent starvation. Thank you. I thought Brutus was the head of the Carpenter family. Something changed? Oh, uh, no, not at all. My father's still in charge. I've simply taken on some of his responsibilities. He's past his prime and needs more rest. Mask? Why do you wear it? A war wound. I prefer not to discuss it if you don't mind. Goodbye.
Village. You the one who called Robert an ape lover, Brutus. This has been empty for years. <laughs> Seems someone believes eternal life comes in a bottle. Brutus Carpenter, I presume. Yes, that's right. Did you bring me something to eat? I'm very hungry. Um, no, sorry. Ah, well move on then. Bye. Please, no! Don't shoot me, mister! 